Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Wolfridge Woodworking. Today we are going to wrap up the completion of the Soji lamp with some Kumiko panels. Uh, so stick around, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to clean up these panels. Uh, they've all been glued. I glued them off on camera. All you need is just a little dab of uh, glue, and I used a toothpick to put that in. So anyway, so we need to get these cleaned up, cut these off, and then uh, sand them. So let me take you through that, how I'm going to cut them. Choose your own way of cutting them. I'm going to use this Japanese pull saw and just uh, take it easy. Start with the closest in front of me. And it should be a pretty quick cut because this is just really soft basswood. All right, now that we've got those uh, edges cleaned up, now, uh, or cut I should say, now we need to uh, sand everything. So what I've got here is a couple of 120 grit sandpaper, just on a piece of flat MDF. You could use this, uh, you could put it on a, a, you know, your cast iron of your table saw or whatever you've got. It just needs to be flat. Um, so that's all we're gonna do is just uh, take these light, trying to keep it square. And being that it is basswood, it doesn't take much. So be careful, you don't want to shave away too much. So, you know, that was what, two passes. So here, let's do this. Keep it again, you want to keep it as straight as possible. And just run your finger across it. Okay, and that's good. Got a piece of eight quarter uh, cherry here that I'm gonna use. I think it'll be a nice contrast to the uh, lightness of the basswood and it'll darken over time. So it's just gonna be like me. It's gonna get better looking with age. <laughs> so I'm gonna go break this down into the appropriate size, uh, just the typical milling process. And I'll bring you along and we'll see how this goes.
Now that we got all of our pieces cut, I need to mark where the layout's going to be. So it's going to be a quarter inch deep because these are half inch and it's going to be a uh, half lap. So it's going to be a quarter inch deep and it's going to be three quarters of an inch from each end. So we need to mark that out. So got a ruler here. And we need to mark our quarter of an inch. So since we're going to be having some tight fitting connections, I'm going to use a marking knife rather than a pencil. So I'm going to cut short on the table saw and then sneak up on the uh, fitment. So 48 is three quarters of an inch. So I'm just going to put that there. Just take multiple light passes to mark it. Okay. Just gonna make this side just a little bit deeper. Okay. So now, you know, we can take this and kind of use this as a gauge. Okay, and then just put a tick mark there. And that's our thickness. So just using a referential measurement. All right, so I've got the, the blade here set to a quarter of an inch, or just actually just under a quarter of an inch. And I've got two stops here. One here that will take care of the upper line and then one here that'll take care of the bottom line. And then I'll just go back and forth between the two to clear out the channel. And then with a um, router plane, I'll clean up that uh, end and a chisel to get it to right up to the line, so.
So all the dimensions are in the plan, um, but off camera I went ahead and set up my two fences to get the cut. So it needs a cut here and here because what's going to happen is this is going to go in like that and kind of give that kind of look. So again, the, this is set up, the dimensions will be in the plan. So now I just need to cut the rest of them and then I'll use a referential measurement to the panels to get the bottom uh, piece. The one thing that you have to be careful of is making sure that when you cut these, they're going to be on the same side as this. If not, you're gonna have a funny looking lamp and I might have a funny looking lamp if I I am not careful. All right, so let's get started. I want to use that as a reference to get this mark here because all the panels should be the same. So I'm just going to, you know, hold that against there and I'm going to scribe a line going across here because that's where the top of the support piece needs to be. So now what I can do is put this on here. I'm going to use this as a referential mark to go here. So let's go over to the table saw and get this cut. that one Okay, so like that. Okay, now we can take it out of here. And that's a, a tight fit, but it's flat. You can see a little bit of gaps in there, but you know, like I said, I'm not a, a pro with this, but that'll work, quick and simple. Okay, just to speed things up, I'm gonna use a little star bond um, and tight bond. Check down in the description for uh, links for 15% off for the Starbond. So I'm just gonna put just a dot in the center of each place. Okay. And then put a little glue in here. And 
Just hold on. Access here. Move that on there. Now to do everybody's favorite thing, sanding. I already did these on the flat surface, so just doing this to get rid of some pencil marks. This is 120. And then I'll go up to, uh, I'll go all the way up to one uh, or 240. That should be good. Okay. Don't want to take up too much off these because I've got these fitting pretty good, so I don't want to take too much off. So I'm just going over it. And then I can get a little bit more free here on the sides. Get away some of the burn marks from the saw blade. I apologize, my audio may be a little bit different. Uh, my microphone battery died. Uh, and I want to get this glued up. So I've got everything laid out. Um, so I'm going to be using this Type On 3 because I want a little bit of extra working time um, to get all of these pieces together and then just make sure that the, the panels are going to be tight. Oh, she's right. Yep. So, I got, uh, used a bunch of clamps, and uh, here's a secret on clamps. Uh, I always keep an eye out, and anytime they go on sale, that's when I go in and I buy a few. Um, so, I do that every so often, and that's, you know, how you can start to build up your clamp collection. All right, you'll have to excuse if you hear the fan in the background. It is currently a little over 99 degrees in the garage. So I took it out of the clamps and I installed the lamp. I'm not an electrician, so I did want to show that just uh, so people can't see it and think, hey, that's right, that's wrong. So, you know, if you do this project, you know, wire it up the best way you see fit. But anyway, it, uh, it turned out pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is it's too hot to spray. I'm going to spray these with lacquer just because it's hard to get into the grooves. But the rest of it, I'm going to use some Odie's oil. And that really should bring out the, the shine here with the, uh, the chair. It should darken it up a bit. So, um, but yeah, man. And also, I was going to put um, soji paper on the back of this. Uh, but I kind of like to see in the lamp. Drop a comment down below. Let me know, do you think having that soldier paper here, which is kind of a, it's a thinner paper, so you still get plenty of light in it, but you wouldn't get these neat shadows. So drop a comment, let me know uh, what you would do. All right, so you can see it really darkens the wood up nicely. Just look at the difference between the two. I'm not going to make you stick around and watch me do the whole thing. Um, I'll be back in just a minute, and uh, we'll wrap things up. All right, so I'm going to make this a quick wrap up because it is 99 degrees in the garage, and I'm dripping sweat. It, this turned out really well, not perfect, like I said before, but... It was a lot of fun. It did take me quite a while to make. Uh, I've got about 70 hours in it, so it's not, uh, it's not a weekend project, I'll just say that. But if you do wanna make one yourself, 
Look down in the description for a link on the plans to, uh, to get this from my uh, website. All the tools and everything that I used for this project will be listed down in the description also. And um, yeah, I think that's going to do it. If you liked it, give it that thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you would have done this. Would you have done it with the paper or would you have left it like this? So I think that covers everything. If you would like to subscribe, click down here. If you want to see other videos, click up here. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.